All right, ladies and gentlemen, Season Salt here, bringing you the HOC promo series for qualifiers. We have Navi going up against Aya Sophia. We had a swap out Malaysia Wars. They were unprepared, so Navi has stepped in their place to maintain competitive integrity. With that being said, we're going to go to our matchups here today. On Navi's side here, playing Order Us 99, playing Avistix. Kuzdor being played by 123 Minahi. Paladin being played by SC060. A Critics being played by Double Ku77. Helm being played by 11 Korean 11. I'll take a look here at the Aya Sophia side. We got Bodum 61 playing Gwervis, Witch playing Execute 1907. Uh, excuse me. 19, uh, Execute 1907 playing Witch. Apologize for that. Tech playing Kotun. Raptor TR playing Aria Eagleheart and FRKNF and DK playing Donovic. So with that being said, let's take you down to the action. And right away, we got some critics meeting Donovic there. Going to land a stun. Aria's going to help close some of that distance. Looks like it's going to be enough to zone a critics out. Already having to go back to base. So minor victory here for uh, a critics, one would say. And everybody's here now, duking it out. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. All these replays will be available on YouTube after the tournament. But of course. Take a look at this Kuzdor bot. Kuzdor Gwervis. I think Gwervis might have the upper hand here. We'll see. As I say that, Gwervis takes a little bit of damage himself. And this top lane matchup, Kotun versus Helm. It's going to be a lot of fun. A little early pressure here on this mid side, which is going to come out and zone out Paladin just for a little bit. Arya going to trade there. And which is very interested in staying in this mid lane. Going to start rotating Bot Donovic. Looking like he is chasing down a Critic. It's going to land a stun. It looks like a Critics isn't going to be able to get away. There goes a nice blink, but it's not going to be enough of Critics. Ooh, can he get out of time? Oh, he's going to go down now. He's going to run right into Witch. He's going to come right out. Witch seals the deal. Gets first blood. Aya Sophia on the board. So far, so good. There's our first blood. So early in the game. The critics could have kept running down and wouldn't have had to worry about anything. Arya trading here with Paladin. Paladin walking right up. Oh boy. Didn't see that there. Witch got taken down by Vistic, so it's one to one right now. Interesting lane matchups here. We'll see where this goes. I don't like to say too much in the early games. I tend to talk a lot during this early part, trying to speculate who's going to be the first to mess up, but you just got to um, let these matches play out. But already, two kills on the board, one apiece. And there's a lot of focus here on this mid lane. This mid lane. There we go. Paladin's going to get frozen. Good job there by Witch. Paladin will be able to get away. But that's going to translate to some good pressure here. For Aya Sophia, they're looking pretty good. The critics now are gonna take up that role of coming here to the mid lane. Freeze it. See what everybody's doing here. Looks like we got a nice trade here. Kotun getting taken down dangerously low. The teleport is going to come in on top. Oh, they cancel it! They leave Kotun by himself. Kotun is going to be able to kite. He's going to get stunned, but he's going to be able to kite them. Teleport is going to come in. They're not going to cancel that one. They're going to... Oh, never mind. They're going to cancel that one. Jeez. 
Mavistic's going in for the dive. Can he come away with the kill? No. Platoon is holding on by a thread right now, which... There, can she stop the port? Oh, no, she can't. They could have squeaked away with something, but nevertheless, that's going to be a reset. Four thirty on the clock. Gold relatively even. The critic's gonna come in, knock Ari away. Another reset. Who's door spending a lot of time here trying to get his farm as well? But of course. She has the uh, tablet of fraud. I think the the freezing tablet. So they got to make it work. So I don't know if this witch is going to go extra aggressive. She's going in for the support. But look at that. She's getting taken down dangerously low. The Critics comes in. Does a little bit of damage to Arya. Arya gets taken down. So I'm expecting to see this witch play a little bit more aggressive than normal. I'm like afraid to move away from that mid lane because it looks like it could pop off at any time. Kuzdor doing a lot of damage there to Gorvis. Gorvis is going to have to hide underneath that tower. And he's going to keep going. Nice fireball. Not going to be worth though because he's going to take quite a bit of damage from the tower. Three pot shots. And this mid lane. I don't know what's going on here. Witch is just standing there. She's just standing there. I'm not sure if she DC'd or something's going on. I sure hope she didn't DC. A lot to go follow around here. Now, okay, which is moving again? Good, good. Man, the gold lead's still relatively even yes. trying to find out where this fight's gonna happen but looking at this top lane is like watching two wet noodles fight oh and of course in the bot lane they managed to catch Kuzdor as I say that I Sophia picking up another kill Looks like this is going to be one of those matches where I'm going to be running up and down the map. Helm needs to be careful. Kotun. Pretty strong. But look at that. Here comes the Vistix. Can he come support his team? He's going to dive right over. It looks like they're going to pounce right on him. Can he get out in time? Kotun in a lot of trouble. Here comes the teleport. Is it going to be worth it? Kotun dives. And the teleport does come in. Two teleports, rather. And now, all of a sudden, they're trying to flip the script. I Sophia picking up another kill. Gwerv is taking down Helm. There goes the blink. Can they get it? A Vistic goes down. Let's go. 4-1 to one is the score right now for Aya Sophia. And they are turning up the heat seven minutes in. Aria going to be the target of some harassment there by Paladin. Paladin, wow, doing quite a bit of critics. Going to throw the poison. Going to throw the skill shot. Is going to miss. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I'll say that several times during the match and the rest of the tournament. Time to go. All these replays will be available on YouTube. Looks like a critics is going to see Donovic there. But I don't think a critics want any of that. But now everybody has eyes on the dragon. PXG frame link thinks what's going on, man. Hope all is well. Oh, looks like Paladin's going to be able to secure that tower. Looking pretty good. But Navi's the one that secures the first objective, so. You know, that being said, 4 to wish. 1, having that tower is going to keep the game relatively close. I hope that Witch didn't DC. I see Execute is not moving at all. I hope he can reconnect. They're 4 to 1 right now. It'd be a shame that their support doesn't make it out. 
And there we go. There goes the ward. Kotun's going to get caught out of position. I don't think Kotun's walking away from this one. In quite a bit of trouble. Can he get out? They're doing so much damage. But look at Avistix. Looks like Avistix is going to be the one to go down. Helm trying to save his teammate, but Kotun does take Avistix down. And it looks like Kotun... <laughs> there goes the teleport. It's going to be in time. But he goes down. Helm picks up the kill there. 2-5 to five is the score. And it looks like Witch has DC'd. does look like Witch has DC'd, unfortunately. That is a tragedy here. But in all respects, they are in the lead. They did pick up another kill there. Time to go. Whose door that is? And right now, 3 to 5 is the score. 17. Uh, gold still just about 300. I hope that Witch comes back, because that will be a tragedy if he if Witch cannot come back. It is very early in the match. But as you can see, I Sophia trying to compensate here. Uzdor has Arya in the sights. Arya's going to be able to get away. Time to go. Now this is a bad thing because they're falling behind. Even though they have the kill lead, they are falling in behind in, uh, in farm. Unfortunately, because there was a kill on the board, we cannot remake the map. So it is going to have to go 5v4. So we'll see what Aya Sophia is made of. And we'll see what Navi is made of. Can they finish a 5v4 game? I've seen games where they can't do it. Not Navi themselves, but other players in general. I've seen plenty of people lose 4v5s and they had the 5 players on their team. Bam, look at that. Werv is taking down Avistix. And Avistix taking down Arya, however. Looks like the chase is on. A Critics has been spotted. Don't think they're going to give too much chase from that. Navi needs to come out here and shut this game down as fast as humanly possible. They cannot allow this game to stay long. There goes Paladin. Clutch charge. But it looks like he's going to get Dove. Kotun with the crush. Cold lead is still there. Which has the seed. Unfortunately, we cannot remake the game as it is already past five minutes and there was a kill on the board. Kotun is going to land the knockup. Gorvis is going to take quite a bit of damage. Can Kuzdor seal the deal? Looks like Arya is going to come bot for the support, but Donovic is there. Helm takes a kill off of Kotun. Donovic taking out Avistix. Looking at that bottom matchup here, but now Donovic is going in. Helm manages to charge away. Teleport does come in. Now Donovic is going to be the one receiving some damage, but can Donovic take down Helm before it is too late? There goes the heal. Looks like Donovic's going to go down. 6-7 to seven is the score. And they're still in it. The shame that uh, Witch is out for this one. Hopefully they'll resolve that after this game. Unfortunately, it's an unintended side effect, but we do have rules protecting the players from that. If there are no kills under five minutes, we can reset the game. But unfortunately, there was a kill very early on, like a minute into the game. There goes a ward at the Yuha. And Paladin, the subject of some attention. Can he get on a type? Oh, he moved in. The shield is barely protecting him. It looks like Gervis is going to get the kill. Paladin goes down 6 to 8. Aya Sophia still doing it. Now you can see that they're scattered more. 
They're trying to make these plays go on around the map. And it looks like Kuzdors and Arya are going to have a showdown there. Can Arya get out in time? It looks like a teleport's going to come in. Yes. But Arya does go down. But nevertheless, it is a trade here. Now you can see Guervis having to flee as well. As you can see, Navi trying to come to support their team member. And they're going to go right in. Look at that helm throwing the hammer. He's going to stun Guervis. The critics with the poison. Aya Sophia is chaos right now. They only have four. It's a 4v5. Avistix is going to jump right over the tower. Looks like they're going to get that kill. Avistix taking down Guervis. And the effects of this 5v4 is starting to show its head. Unfortunately now you can see Donovic unable to do anything to support his team. Going to get attacked by those bears. And it's only a matter of time before he goes down. Can he get out of time? Nope. Avistix takes that kill. 9 to 8 now. Navi starting to get control of this game. You have to wonder what the result is going to be like here with this 5v4. Which still missing in action. Kuzdor and Kotun duking it out here. Kuzdor giving zero cahoots about that tower. He's going to go up. But look at that. Arya with the backup. Oh, yeah. Arya picks up that kill. Keeping it tied. Let's go. This stick's working on the dragon. It looks like Navi's going to be able to secure that. People that play Pal Paladin really good amaze me. I'm so bad at Paladin. I always enjoy seeing uh, people just go absolutely banana sandwich. Donovic doesn't want any part of that Paladin there, even though he is pretty strong. But I don't think Paladin's going to be strong enough to uh, 2v1 there. Or excuse me, 1v2. But of course. Now where is this next fight gonna be? We are searching the map. Looking for some action. I think Kotun's gonna yeah. get taken down here in the top side. Looks like they get on the Vistix. Coming up with the kill there. The tower's gonna take down Helm just a little bit, but that's gonna mean that. Navi is going to take down another tower. So this 5v4 really painful right now. That witch DC'd and cannot get back into the game. Gotta believe that the next game will not happen. So 4 to 0 tower. They can't keep up with the split push. It is very strong with this team. Donovic is gonna start working on clearing this top side. I want to thank everybody for showing up. Much love. We got a packed house here tonight. Just a friendly reminder that these matches will be on YouTube. With pleasure. So after these games, we will go in and we will I'll chop up the videos and upload them. Oh, it looks like they're going to leave the Yuha as you can see. The time is now to team fight. Boom, Avistix takes down Donovic almost immediately. And that means they can continue doing the Yuha as you can see that they were still attacking even during that team fight. So, looks like Helm is going to do a good job there. It's going to land the stun. And there you go, Yuha getting secured by Navi. In all fairness, the witch was not helping her team anyway. She fed early, then miraculously disconnected. So, Navi's pressure here looks like they're just squeezing them slowly. Even though it's within two kills, they're doing just enough to strangulate Aya Sophia as they haven't been as Aya Sophia haven't been able to get any sort of pressure here going. Mm. 
19 minutes on the clock. Kuzdor, the subject of some attention, gets caught out of position. Avistix taking down Arya, but it looks like they're going to collapse right on Avistix. 12 to 10 right now. Helm going to split them up. Gorvis is going to get stunned. And that looks like it's going to be a nice soft reset as Paladin is now turning to come right in. Paladin going right in on Gorvis. Can Gorvis get out in time? Donovic throwing his body to save his friend. Hashtag I play for my team. Can they make something happen of it? Looks like Paladin is going to take down Donovic. And it looks like the team fight is just going to go from bad to worse. Double kill. And Avistix. Excuse me. Paladin is the one that gets the double kill. Death comes. And these are mortal blows here. The critics now getting taken down. Are you going to come up with that one? So that's going to be some momentary relief. Gold lead is becoming astronomical. Also, a friendly reminder, I am now one of the Hawkmaster's admins. So if you guys have any information pertaining to HOC that you would like to have displayed on the website, why don't you give me a shout, leave a comment, and I'll get in contact with you, and we'll put your content up on the Hawkmaster's website. So you have guides, you have tutorial videos, you have any kind of highlight, send it over. And now they're continuing to press Navi just... Now Witch has finally made it back, but she's level 3. And, uh, looks like Witch is gonna go down. Unfortunately, that disconnect was just so OP. Kuzdor picking up a kill on Donovic. 18-11 is the score. 21 minutes on the clock. Tower destroyed. Well, the iron is hot. Tower destroyed. Their lives and the push is real. They're coming in. Looks like Navi's going to be able to put the finishing touches. Arya picking up a kill on Clue's door. Can they turn it around? Looks like Witch is going to go down almost immediately. Kotun goes down. Arya goes down again. Only person up is Gwervis. And Gwervis can't do anything right now. Now we're going to see if Aya Sophia can rebound because they didn't play terrible. They did a 4v5, but it was not terrible. So you got to give credit to where credit is due. If they would have just played a full team, maybe the results might be different, but right now it looks like this is going to be GG. Avistix is going to jump in, surely pick up a kill. Gorbis is going to go down, and it looks like they're just going to start focusing the tower, which is going to land a stun. Can they take down Paladin? Doesn't look like it. Helm's going to throw the heal up, and it looks like Avistix is going to make quick work of this tower, of the Nexus, rather. And oh, Avistix, which gets a kill. Look at that. That's going to be GG. The minions pull it up. GG.